Hey everybody, it's Jennifer with the Common Milkweed and we are opening this Saturday for our native plant nursery. And so I wanted to take you on a quick tour so you can see what we have going on. So we're looking at our orchard, making our way to the nursery past our awesome grapes and heading towards our tables. We have a ton of native perennial plants that are ready to go in the ground. So right here we're looking at nodding wild onion. Behind is wild columbine. These are all in quartz and we have some plugs as well. All of our pricing is on our list, our 2017 plant species list along with prices. Here we have some foxglove beard tongue. All the plants are holding up really well. It's toasty out here, so this shade structure is working great. These are our bristly aster, which are doing fantastic. I love the light purple color of this aster, and we get comments on it all of the time when people come over. Over here, we have gallon pots, gray-headed coneflower, queen of the prairie, rattlesnake master, ironweed, bergamot, Ohio spiderwort, more foxglove beard tongue, cup plant. There's so much goodness here. Let me take you right over here. This one, common mountain mint, gets a white flower on it and the leaves smell fantastic. Oh my gosh, when they're crushed. People also use these in tea. I've not tried it, but I like mint tea, so I would imagine that I would like that. Got some Joe Pies. We don't have a huge amount, but on this back table right here, you can see we have Jerusalem artichoke. It's in the sunflower family, is one of my favorite plants. I mean, really, I guess almost all of them are. But that one has an edible tuber, which is pretty cool. We've got different grasses. So there are some bottle brush and some Virginia wild rye. Those are some good sunny and shady grasses. Sweet grass. If you have not read Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer, oh, I recommend it. I've read it twice. I'll probably read it again. <laughs> Here's some more sizes of cut plants. Right here you can see we've got this shade tunnel. It's not really for shade, though it's acting that way. What it mostly is for <laughs> is to keep our fabulous monarch butterfly plants out. Let me open it for you all. So here, we have milkweed. I know a lot of you are wanting it. So we have mostly common milkweed. We have a few swamp milkweeds. We don't have any butterfly weed. They didn't make it this year, but that's okay because the common is fabulous. So I'm gonna keep this covered until it gets into your yard and then it can start feeding the monarchs there. We have one sedge, copper-shouldered oval sedge. Really cool sedge to grow. Golden Alexanders, more of the nodding wild onions. Check those out. They are ready to flower. Woohoo, that's exciting. Right around this corner, we have more of our native grasses. We have Indian grass, big blue stem, Canada wild rye, switchgrass, side oats grandma, Little blue stem. Over here are our gallon bottle brush grasses. They are flowering right now. Look at this. That is one cool grass head. So they're kind of tall, floppy plants. We have most of ours in the woods or part shade areas. They're very happy there and they really are stunning in the landscape. Okay, we're gonna walk past these that we've already looked at. I wanna show you a couple things along our back edge over here. This is our tree zone plus some more sunny perennials. In here we have staghorn sumac and American sycamore, one of our most favorite trees. It grows fast since we're all planting a lot of the trees for the grandbabies, we can plant some faster growing trees for ourselves. So that's what we do here. 
We have plugs of button bush. We also have gallon pots. Anything that's in a plug tray when you come, if you just want a couple of them, we'll easily pop them out for you and wrap them up so that you can take them home. You don't have to buy the whole tray. We have Kentucky coffee tree. We've definitely had inquiries about this plant. We have one, two quarts, one, two, three, four, six gallons, and one three gallon. We've had a lot of questions about staghorn sumac too. We've got that. Look over here. These are American plums. These are three gallons. These are a native fruit producing small tree shrub. Some of them, if you pick it, you'll get lucky. They have some jewelweed in there. Some of these woodies, there are other ones that have been growing plants with them. I haven't called the extra plant because I thought some of you might be interested. If you're not, I will pull it out at that time. This is a great one to add to your landscape. It's, I think, more common than many people think, but it's also really underutilized. It has fruits that are eaten by wildlife. People can eat it. More plugs over here, culver's roots. Wild quinine and rattlesnake master, they look a little unhappy in their pots, but they have super healthy roots. They are ready to go on the ground and they will go nuts, I'm sure. Obedient plant, this one spreads a lot, which I love because it likes wetter areas. It has a fantastic pink flower on it that you can push around. And anything that spreads and takes over ground space for us is welcome. Very, very welcome. We have lots of wingstem plugs, monkey flower, ironweed. Some of the smaller plugs that might not be appealing at this point will be ready in several weeks. So when you come visit, if you're soon, just pick the ones that are ready. We also have our trails labeled. We have an old field trail here for you to walk and a small woodland trail which goes through our fence row. So if you all have time over July or August, check out our dates that we have listed on our website. Come visit us. We're going to have some handcraft too. I have a blog post about that, so check out the commonmilkweed.blogspot.com. And let's take a look here from the distance. If our July and August dates don't work for you, just go ahead and contact us and we can set up an appointment when you can come at a different time. Everyone is welcome to walk the trails, to bring cameras, binoculars. It is a wild place, be prepared for it. We're very close to the road, we have neighbors, but we have plants growing <laughs> everywhere. So there's a lot of wildlife and we think that you will enjoy it. So thanks a lot for watching, thanks for your interest. We hope to see you soon.